Let's take a look at how to add harness to your WordPress site. So to start, we'll need to add a plugin which will give us the ability to easily add harness to all pages of your site at once. So let's go to our plugins option on the side menu and select add new. Once here, go to the search box and we're looking for a plugin called header and footer scripts. Once we search for that and the results come up, you'll see this option here. It's called header and footer scripts, and it has this blue icon with a couple of arrows in it. Now, we'll need to go ahead and install this one. On your WordPress site, it might be a little bit different on how to install and activate it. There's a uh, usually a button right here that says either install or download. You'll click that, uh, and the plugin will install. And then afterwards, the button will update and say activate, and you'll click on that button to go ahead and activate it. On our version, it's a little bit different here. We'll click into it, and there's just this install and activate button, which will take care of both of those actions at one time. So we'll go ahead and let that run. Our plugin has been installed, and what this has done is added a new option under our settings menu called header and footer scripts, and this is where we need to go now to actually add the harness floating to a button. Once you're here, let's jump over to your Harness admin dashboard. In Harness, go to Settings, then go to Website Code, and you'll see this block of code here. This is what we'll be copying. We want to grab the entire block of code, and then we can jump back over to WordPress, and we're going to paste that into the Scripts in Header section. Once the code has been pasted in, scroll down the page, click Save Settings. And then once those settings have been saved, we can see up at the top here that it's been saved. Um, if we jump back over to our actual WordPress site now, we can refresh the page. And here's our floating donate button appearing in the bottom right hand corner. We can click on that and this is going to now have our harness donate button and our giving forms added to every page of our site. So if we jump over to say our about us page, for example, we can see it's there too. Let's go back over to our WordPress dashboard because I also want to make sure that we redirect any donate buttons and navigation menu options so that they are going to harness as well. So back in our WordPress dashboard, we're going to start by just redirecting any on-page buttons. So we can go over to Pages, All Pages. We'll start with our home page. We'll select the three dots and edit. And then once here, we have this Donate button on the page itself that we're going to change where it goes to. And we're going to change it so that it points to our floating donate button. And to accomplish that, we just need to change the link that it's currently going to. If you have a link already in here going to somewhere else, you can just delete that and replace the link with the pound symbol and the word donate. This will be a trigger that will cause our floating donate button to open. So we'll apply those changes here and we'll update the page. We're also going to jump over to our About Us page real quick and do the same thing there. We have a Donate button here on our About Us page that we can edit, and we'll change that link also to hashtag donate and apply and then update the page. So jumping back over to our live WordPress site, we'll refresh the page again. And now we'll see here that the donate button that we have built onto our page, when we click on it, it now serves as a trigger that opens our floating donate button at the corner. So again, right here, this built-in donate button is now opening our widget donate button that we installed as a plugin earlier. If we jump over to the About Us page as well, we have the donate button here that we've added. And again, it serves as a trigger to open our floating donate button. So quick and easy way to redirect any existing donate buttons that you have on the page. But we still have one more thing we need to tackle, and that's the donate button in the menu. Um, and this is going to be a little different. We can jump back over to our WordPress editor. 
And we'll need to go to Appearances and then choose Menus. This is where your navigation menus and your footer menus will live. So we can see here on our menu structure that we have an About Us link and we have a Donate link. And both of those are going to different pages on our site currently. So as far as the Donate link, what we're going to do in this example is actually just remove it because we're going to assume in this case we no longer need this Donate page because we're going to just use Harness instead. So we're going to remove this option. It's gone from our menu. And what we'll do is go ahead and create a custom link that we're adding to the menu. So we can jump over here, click Custom Links, and in the URL, just like we did for those buttons earlier, we're going to add the URL of just hashtag donate, just a trigger, not actually a link to a separate page. And the link text that will appear, uh, we'll go ahead and just say that's donate. And then we'll add that to the menu. So now we can see that we have our About Us, which is going to that About Us page. And we have the donate, which is going to a custom link that is just a trigger, which will cause our floating donate button to open. So let's go ahead and save these menu changes. Menu has been updated. If we jump back over to our WordPress site, we'll refresh the page once more. And you'll see that now our button up in the top here, this donate navigation menu item, if we click on it, it's now also a trigger that will just open right to our harness giving form, right to that floating donate button. If we jump over to the About Us page, because this navigation menu is going to appear on all pages on the site, we click on it here, it does the same thing. So we've effectively redirected everywhere on the site that was potentially pointing to another donation platform, and everything is now pointing over to harness. So that's how you can quickly add your harness donate button, as well as redirect any on-page donate options and navigation menu options so that everything is pointed to harness.